idea. Celia, how nice to see you. Hello. My wife, Monica. Hello. Monica. Nice to meet you. Welcome, Celia. Welcome, Edward. Hello, where's Lila? Right over here, my dear. Hello, darling. Well, Celia, darling, I'd like to introduce you to a few of our guests. Hello, Hello there. Hello. I'd like to buy some champagne. Yeah, well, the bar is right in there, huh? Somebody to help you. Oh, you're not a waiter? Not even close. I'm sorry, I just assumed. Apology accepted. You must be, uh, Celia. Yes, we know each other. Well, I think I've known you all my life. Oh. Is that so? Yeah. You're the girl on the screen in the drive-in. You're the girl in the newspapers and magazines. You're the girl that's been looking down on me from uh, the billboards. You're the girl that doesn't exist. That's quite a come on. Do you use it often? First time. Well, it's a shame it didn't work. Close. You're a bit out of your element, aren't you? I mean, what is it usually, jeans? And flannel shirts. But you know what they say, it's not uh, the clothes that make the man. No, no, it's how well he fills them. I've never had any complaints. First time for everything. Well, take that man over there. Holly, is that you? Oh, no. Oh, hi. Oh. Isn't anybody going to take my coat? <laughs> you were the one, not me. <laughs> no, I put the mouse in Monsieur Lebec's stem snore. You freed the frog. Why they had to start dissecting frogs at finishing school, I will never know. <laughs> Do you remember Mademoiselle Armand? The one who insisted we eat only half our meat, but all of our vegetables. You are a jeune fille. You must take très petit portions if you wish to present yourself as a refined young woman. <laughs> <laughs> oh, imagine what a shock when we found out she was having an affair with the school gardener. <laughs> I thought I'd forgotten all of those times. Oh, me too. Oh, Holly, how are you? I'm, I'm good, very good. But I don't even have to ask you. You look radiant. Well, a year in Paris can do that for you. What brings you here? At the moment, I'm visiting relatives. In a few weeks, I'll be getting married. You're kidding, to whom? Anybody I know? Grant Patnoe, the doctor. Yes, that's fine. Oh, I've seen him. He's gorgeous. Well, of course he is. You don't think I'd settle for anything less. And what about you? That was quite a gentleman you walked in with. Uh, my husband. No. Yes. Holly Sutton, Mary. What was it you always used to say in school? You were married to adventure and romance, and no man would ever take its place? I, I was younger then. Or maybe he can take its place. My husband is a commissioner here, police commissioner. How interesting. Do you help him? On occasion. Mm, he must tell me all about it. Well, uh, I'll let him tell you himself. Uh, Robert, this is Celia Quartermain, Celia, my husband, Robert. And I'm Jimmy Lee. How do you do? Uh, Can I get you a drink? Champagne, please. We'll be right back. Celia and I went to finishing school together. It was about five years, six years ago? Mm, I'm not telling. <laughs> Holly says you're police commissioner here, Robert. Yes. He's working on a very important murder case at the moment. Really? How fascinating. Well, actually, it's a lot of work, but I expect to wind up the investigation tonight. Does that mean you have the murderer? Sorry? Does that mean that you have the murderer? I will have by the time this party's over. Mm, how exciting. Seems I came at just the right time, cousin. It's one way of looking at it. Yes, but let's not look at the other way. Excuse me. 